Welcome back into Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty. Paul Pelosi, his name has been in the news a lot recently. He is the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and he apparently bought 20,000 shares in a semiconductor company for right around $5 million. He did so at the end of June. So less than a month ago, he bought these 20,000 shares. In the meantime, the United States Senate is expected to vote on a bill which would pump $52 billion into that very same semiconductor industry later today. His timing... He is like a real-life Gordon Gecko. His timing is unbelievable. For more on what's going on here, let's welcome back Kentucky Congressman and ranking member of the House Committee on Oversight and Reform, James Comer. Um, I, I mean, this is like, like Bernie Madoff, Gordon Gecko. This guy has outperformed the S&P the last 20 straight years. How is he doing it, Congressman? Well, it doesn't hurt that his wife's the Speaker of the House. And that would make her the ultimate uh, stop insider. Right. She knows exactly which direction major legislation is going to go. And this isn't the first time Mr. Pelosi's had a major stock transaction at a questionable time. And he's not just trading stocks, Rob. He's also trading stock options. And stock options are very risky. They expire. You purchase stock options uh, to make a profit on stock options. That stock has to move uh, pretty significantly in a very short time period. So uh, the people that make stock options often uh, have a little bit of insider knowledge. And of course, insider trading is very illegal, uh, not just for members of Congress, but for, for people that are inside in the, in the corporation. Uh, Nancy Pelosi is the ultimate stock insider. Uh, there have been a lot of stories written about individual members of Congress buying 100 shares here and 100 shares here for five or $6,000. Right. We're talking about half a million, uh, $5 million plus trades by Pelosi. This is a regular occurrence by Pelosi, and it needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Yeah, we're talking about huge sums of money. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, according to Forbes, her net worth is right around $135 million. She's been in Congress since the early 1980s, so we're talking about a long time for her to sort of, you know, they call it pillow talk. She's, you know, she talks to her husband, tells her what's going on, what's on the agenda, what's going to be voted on. Um, but this one is really, really egregious. Uh, he bought these shares about three and a half weeks ago, and, and the Senate's going to vote today. Why aren't these bills, and there is more than one that are in the House and Senate, um, and they never go to the floor for a vote, about the spouses of elected officials not being able to do things like that. Will we see something like that go to the floor for a vote if Republicans take control of the House in November? Yeah, Kevin McCarthy's already said that he's going to ban stock trading by members of Congress, and I believe he included their immediate family members, uh, because, you know, a lot of the, the problems we have in Washington right now with conflicts of interest involve immediate family members, whether it's Nancy Pelosi's husband or Joe Biden's brother or son. Uh, the immediate family members are uh, certainly part of the family, and they need to be included in the major ethics reform packages that Republicans will, will bring to the American people in January if we retake the House. All right. Here's, and, and for the rest of us, by the way, it's called insider trading. Um, right. You know, and it brings down people in the financial world each and every year. Uh, Nancy Pelosi's office put out a statement basically saying that the Speaker of the House, many say the outgoing Speaker of the House, had no idea what was going on. The Speaker does not own any stocks, as you can see from the required disclosures with which the Speaker fully cooperates. These transactions are marked SP for spouse. The Speaker had no prior knowledge or subsequent involvement in any transactions. Is she lying? Well, Joe Biden said the same thing about Hunter, and we're hearing recorded messages now. Uh, right. We're seeing uh, uh, visitor logs at the White House that shows that Joe Biden wasn't telling the truth about Hunter. Now, uh, the speaker may be telling the truth about her husband. Uh, does he have contact with her staff? Does he have contact with her legislative director? Because these are the ones that will know whether or not that legislation is going to pass the House or not. So, uh, you know, the, the fact that Nancy Pelosi is the ultimate insider and her husband's making questionable stock trades of, of that scale right before major legislation passed. It's very concerning. And Rob, this isn't the first time that he's done that. Right. Remember when Congress was talking about regulating big tech, he made some big stock option purchases on Facebook at that time. And of course, Congress didn't do anything about big tech. And I believe that his bet with stock options was that nothing would happen. So uh, there's a real problem here. He doesn't just need to be investigated by Congress, needs to be investigated by the the, the, the authorities that uh, regulate stock trades, the SEC and uh, 
other federal agencies. Yeah, and if this this semiconductor bill does pass uh, through Congress, he could make he could make millions of dollars off Absolutely. this one trade. I, and I think Nancy Pelosi, she thinks to herself, well, hey, you know, I'm not going to be Speaker of the House a year from now, so what do I care? I'm in my 80s. Let's let's drift off into the sunset and you know and and add to our already you know our, mm -hmm. they're worth a hundred million dollars. Add to that. Right. Uh, really egregious, uh, Congressman. And thanks so much for staying on top of this for us. Hopefully, a bill like that does pass if the GOP takes over control of the House. Good to see you. Congressman James Comer from Kentucky. We'll do it again soon. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.